Yo, what is up, guys? Aus PG, Ross PG, Aus TV, here coming at you with a brand new video. And today, I just want to give out a little shout out to my friend Arrow. Yep, he's uh he's starting to do identity videos, and one of his last videos is actually really good, and he's switching over to Sony Vegas Pro, so his video quality is gonna get a lot better. So just to get right into the video, I'm gonna tell you guys about the currency and you know pay to play stuff in the economy of identity. And this is going to be another one of those videos that I talk about stuff, you know, while, you know, this is a pre-recorded video, obviously. Um, I really hope that the uh, video, the new, the brand new video doesn't come out while I'm in on vacation over the week because I will probably not be able to up upload many videos. So just to get into this topic, all of the economy in identity is player based. So that means that only the players will be able to change the economy. It's not going to be a set economy like uh, GTA where you, where, you know, a gun is like, let's say, $1,000 for the whole game. The prices of, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna go by demand, right? So if, if there's like enough product and there's, you know, people that want to buy it, then the price will obviously go down. But if there's not, it, not at all a lot of product and a lot of people still want it, and the price is gonna go way up so this can go a number of ways like obviously with a player based economy it's gonna be kinda scary honestly because uh, you're gonna have to really choose the correct government and the correct people that you want in your government and stuff like that because they can obviously change it really uh, really drastically with taxes and taxes and such so basically there will be no pay to play in identity I'm pretty sure that they have said that after these these packs are done, then they're not gonna you're not gonna be able to buy any money at all in the game, and maybe maybe some cosmetic stuff like with money. But I don't think that this game will be like pay to play where you you know can buy just a car, uh, just with real money. And honestly, if it was, then that would really make me mad because people shouldn't just have that opportunity. They should like actually be able to work up to it and earn what they get instead of having to just pay for it like the little rich rich kids that they are so I actually did buy the $30 uh, founders pack and you cannot play the um, town square or anything if you buy the $15 pack so make sure if you want to play the town square you buy the $30 pack anyways so with this player based economy and stuff like that um, it's gonna be pretty hard to get money obviously so my just me personally my gang we're gonna be knocking over like convenience stores stuff like that and then we're gonna start going for the big stuff like the banks and all that and we're just gonna eventually just skyrocket into getting rich so that's what I want to do at least but I don't know how well it'll work out I've been really planning this out for a long time and I got a couple bank plans on how to knock over a bank maybe I'll put that in one of my next videos who knows this is probably going to be Wednesday's video since I'll probably only be able to post around three or four videos this week. Maybe this will be my only video because I'm running out of time. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to hear more about the economy and stuff like that, there are you know sites that you can go on to that that'll update frequently about you know stuff that the devs have said. And uh, honestly, I'm just happy to see where this goes and where the economy goes. And you know, being player based. Uh, it's gonna obviously pre be pretty, uh, pretty drastic and change like on a constant basis, especially within uh, like new peoples that gets into government, which is gonna put another uh, tension on the game and create more f conflict in between uh, players and stuff like that. And uh, just some more, uh, just another piece of information for anybody who's wondering, you can give people money. Uh, yeah, like you can also rob people for every single bit of money that they have on hand. And I'm pretty sure that in this game, like, there's going to be servers where you have to value your life. So if, you know, someone's like, give me the keys to your car or I'll shoot you, then you have to give them the keys to your car. Or, uh, like, because you got to value your life in the game. It's, it's kind of a weird rule, but it's like that in some RP servers in Altus. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also go follow my Twitter and my Instagram, which I'll be posting right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully, one day, as long as I don't die. Because I'm bungee jumping soon. Also, by the way, there will be hang gliders in identity. Just a fun little fact.